everyone. In Buddhism, they have the notion of the monkey mind, meaning that the mind is always restless, jumping from one branch to another, always busy. In meditation, however, the monkey mind can be tamed. And this is also what happens when you have a flow experience. When you are completely absorbed by an activity you like, the impact past and future have on psychological functioning in the present is minimized. Most of the time, however, this is not the case. Most of the time, our minds are occupied by thoughts about the future and the past. And this, of course, is crucial for our functioning within society and for pursuing our goals and dreams. So what are people's relations to time, people's time perspectives? Um, we create, no, no, there is, we, we divide time into past, present and future. Past and future are mental constructs we make in the present. So we imagine them and we project meaning and emotions into them. So we build emotional relations towards past and future and get attached to them, to our mental representations of them. We construct them in the present and they hit back on us, influencing our everyday behavior and how we think and feel about things. There are different types of time perspective personalities. Probably you are very focused on fulfilling your daily responsibilities. You live in the short-term future and you work a lot. But then you're on vacation, you're on the nicest beach on earth, but you cannot really appreciate the situation because you forgot about how to enjoy the present moment. Then it would be a good idea for you to train your ability to indulge yourself, to become more pre present hedonistic, to use a time perspective word. Or it is the other way around. You're too good at enjoying. You have goals and great ideas, but you do not really pursue them because there is still too much to enjoy. Also, then it would be a good idea to adjust your time perspective focus and to become a little more future-oriented. Yes, time's running. Okay, there's another... A uh, manner of relating towards the present moment besides the hedonistic one, which is a mindful one. Mindfulness is a mode of consciousness which is present-oriented, non-judging and open-hearted. It includes awareness of awareness itself and of thoughts, feelings and sensations that are present in the moment. There is a huge hype around this concept in contemporary psychology, which I think is completely justified. Because mindfulness, makes, mindfulness practice makes people more resilient, and it helps against depressions, anxieties, and addictions. And what I also think it helps for is for developing a sustainable long-term future perspective. Because only when we are aware of what's happening in the present, only when we are aware of the tremendous beauty that surrounds us, for instance in nature, only then we can develop the motivation that is necessary to engage in behavior that strives to conserve this beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And to maintain a world that's worth living in, not You're only for future generations, but for ourselves today. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>